When you lose power, you're gonna go ahead and shut off the main breaker up there. You're gonna shut off everything right here. You're gonna hook up the cord to the generator, have it situated before you turn it on, check your oil level, add your gasoline, make sure the exhaust is pointing outwards, not towards here, do not run it in the garage. Um, some people put a chain on their uh, generator to prevent it from getting stolen. Once you uh, have done those checks, oil, gas, exhaust away from the garage, have the cord hooked up, turn the generator on, let the generator stabilize, give it 20 seconds of run running. Once the generator is stabilized, you want to push and pull that up. There's a little tab right here that you got to push up or actually it's, it's hard to do with one hand. See if you, uh, yeah, down, push down. Let me see. Or is it up? It's up. Yeah. So generators running, cords connected. Everything is off up there. Go ahead and turn this circuit breaker on. That's the generator circuit breaker. Now, when this is on, you have available power, but you don't have anything on yet. So you're gonna go ahead, you are able to turn on every little thing besides the double pole. See how that's two of them connected? You can't have those on. So no, 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 no. That's a double, even though it looks single. Double, double, double. Everything else you can have on. Um, so you'll have lights in every room. Uh, you'll have available power to every room for the lighting, the outlets, the fans, but obviously you're not gonna have all the lighting and outlets and fans running, right? It's when you go in a room, you turn the light on, you'll have available power. Um, and uh, that's it. So say if you have to, if you're running out of fuel and you gotta shut it down to refuel it, all you have to do come out here and shut this breaker off that prevents power from feeding that so that there is no load on the generator let it run for about 30 seconds without a load turn it off let it cool down add your fuel okay you added fuel you checked your oil go ahead turn it back on start the unit okay it's running bam come here turn that back on these will already be in the on position for the ones that are supposed to be on. And so you'll have instant power to everything once you turn this breaker on. Say uh, FPNL power comes back and you don't need to use the generator anymore. What you're gonna do is go ahead, shut everything off. Then go ahead, shut this off. Then go ahead, unplug from the generator then shut the generator off. Make sure and you double check that this is in the off position. Then you can go ahead and put this back in. The, then you can put your main breaker back on, then turn everything on. You do not turn this on though. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, that's that. Be yes. Um, for starting your generator, very simple. Oil's right here, gas. Your choke is right here. It's got a sticker. When you're starting it, you want it to the left in the choke position. Then once it's once you're pulling it and it's starting to rumble, move it over to the right into the run position. So that's the choke position. That's when you're starting it. Then right away as it's as you pull it and it's trying to start, move this over and it'll run and take off and run like it's supposed to. You do have to make sure that this switch is in the on position. This is your on off switch. If it's off, nothing's working. So keep that in mind. The thing starts up and runs beautifully. Here's an example. So we've got that in the on position. We've got new oil, new spark plug, new air filter. There's the old spark plugs and air filters. Uh, we fixed this so that this is nice and sturdy. Um, so, and your fuel. This is on when it's vertically. Mm -hmm. That's off when it's horizontally. So we're gonna have the fuel on. Okay, we're gonna have the choke in the choke position. We're gonna have the switch 
in the on position. Bam. Ooh, I was close. All right. Let me uh, hold that for a sec. So. So the reason why it was, if you run this and you get it heated up and you try and start it again in the choke position, it, it actually won't, won't start. It won't do. It's already heated up. Things have expanded. It doesn't need that extra fuel flow. So okay. <laughs> that's why. But when you're first starting it and the engine hasn't been ran at all, put it in the, the choke position. Okay. Um, and other than that, that's it. Uh, any questions? I mean, no, that's, that, that that's covers it, right? That covers Perfect. It.